Gal here, and today I have a little bit of an organizing video for you. Um, recently on my Instagram page, I had posted where I had bought some of these cabinets from Michaels and how I was storing my kits that I receive each month from the scrap room. And I'd gotten some questions about them, and so I thought I would take a minute to just kind of show you how I organize them. And right now, I still have August kits in the drawers, and I'm getting ready to swap them out and put September's in there. So I thought it'd be a great time to kind of show you how I um, transition between those. So like I said, this cabinet is from Michaels. Um, I know Ikea sells some that are similar, but you need to be really careful of which ones you get if you're shopping at Ikea because some of them are not wide enough for the 12 by 12 papers, which is really important for what I'm using it for. Um, so this one I got with the sell prices when they do like 50% off and then an extra coupon on top of that and then I actually had them shipped in so I'd gotten some free shipping. So they ended up quite inexpensive when I ordered them so um, and it's turned out to be a great organization piece so I absolutely love it. It comes with five drawers and it's definitely big enough for your 12 by 12 papers. I've just added one of the boards that you can get that creates shelves or a desk whatever you want. I just set it on top so that it's wide enough that I can put my cutter pillar up here and still have room on each side for paper when I want to be cutting with it. I don't always use it, but when I do, I like that little bit of extra space. This cabinet also comes on wheels, so it's really nice. My workspace is just right here, and so I can wheel it closer if I wanted to, um, but it pretty much stays right here, and I don't feel the need um, to roll it around, but if you're using it for something that you want to be able to um, move it, then it, it is movable with the wheels. So let's get into the drawers. Um, this top drawer I use for the main kit, so this is the Flavors of the Month kit. Now you could take this and use it for homemade kits or you know whatever you're doing, but this I bought purposely for the Scrap Room kit, so that's what I'm going to be talking about today. So this is Flavors of the Month, and I actually just peeled the sticker off the bag um, in August and just stuck it on the drawer so that I kind of remember because that was the first month that I was using this. Um, I have this little divider that you could get at Michael's. Right now they're really hard to find, but it has removable dividers here, and so it works great to put all of the embellishments in. So for this month in August, there was lots of smaller pieces like tags and ephemera and things. So I just went and put each one of the collections in a different section. So this was the Simple Stories, the Echo Park, and you know so forth jelly bean soup and just put them here and then I also had the double shot kit um, so it had some enamel dots and things and so I just put those in there as well. Um, each month the embellishments are a little bit different and so I'm going to show you in September I really don't have a lot of smaller embellishments like this so it's going to be a little bit different on the embellishment part. Okay and then I just simply put each one of the four collections from the flavors of the month. So you can see the simple story, sunshine and happiness, and then the cardstock that always comes with it, and then Echo Park Party Time. Um, the jelly bean soup, I used almost all of it, just have a few little scraps, so I did put it back into the baggie since it was small pieces for the moment. And then all the other scraps are just down below here. You can tell some of them are bigger. And I have some of the extra embellishments too. So you can tell I've went through this and it's kind of gotten a little unorganized right here at the end. Um, but for the most part, this front drawer, or the first drawer, is just each one of the four collections from Flavors of the Month. And then I had this for the embellishments. I'm going to go ahead and close that up. Next up, I had the double shot kit. And so that includes two different collections. And I just put them, and hopefully you can see, um, I spread them apart. So the drawer is definitely wider. It's probably close to 13 and a half inches or so. So I have the paper setting apart so I can see both collections and remember what they are. Next up, I put in the add-on kit. And so it includes embellishments, pattern paper, and cardstock. So I simply just put the cardstock on bottom and it's spread apart so the cardstock's over there and then the pattern paper and the embellishments on top. So actually the embellishments that you saw on the bottom of there are some that belong in this drawer. 
Um, you could split it up because each one of the add-ons include embellishments and things that match your flavors of the month. And so you could break those apart and put them with your flavors of the month kit so that you already have them together. Um, for August, I was trying to keep it separate so that I would know the products that I was using, which kit it came out of. Um, for September, I may go ahead and combine those because I've already kind of started cutting into them as well. So we'll, we'll see. The next drawer is the Shots of Life kit. And so it comes with some cut apart sheets that are 12 by 12, some sticker sheets that are big 12 by 12, um, I had a 6x6 pad and then the large 4x6 and 3x4 cards and then some embellishments. So I actually took this container and put the 3x4 cards, the tags, and any small pieces like that, ephemera pieces, in this little container so that it was easy to pull out and it was kept separate and not got lost in the drawer. So that's my Shots of Life kit. Um, if you're only getting the Shots of Life, then I would almost split it up and put your bigger pieces up here, your cards in another drawer, you know, something like that. Um, whatever works for you and the way that you think. Now this bottom drawer I kept and I just put older kits into it. So like right now what I'm going to show you is transitioning from August to September. So I'm going to pull all of August out and put September in. So I'm just going to drop all of the August products and put them down in the bottom drawer. Now, unfortunately, I was gone a lot in August and I didn't get very much done, so I have a lot left. Normally, I don't because this is actually, um, I think, June's kit, what I have down there. And it's just odds and end things. Like, I have a sticker sheet that's the alphabet sticker sheet um, and some scraps and things. So, I keep those down there so that when I'm working on these and I want some little something, I can go to that and pull it out. Um, now at some point I'll probably pull it out and spread it into my regular stash and put it back. But for now I want to go ahead and keep it here, um, especially because I try to create products for the scrap room and so I want to make sure and use products that's coming from their kits and um, you know be able to point you back to those. So again that bottom drawer is going to be for leftovers. So I'm going to take all of this product out, put it in the bottom drawer, and then show you how I'm going to put September in. All right, so I have pulled everything out of these drawers and moved to the bottom. I kept all of the cardstock to the bottom, and then patterned paper, then the scraps, and I kept the alphabets to the top because I know that's something that I will definitely go looking for when I create titles for these other layouts, then I might want more choices for alphabets. And then, like I said earlier, since this kit's a little bit different and I don't have a lot of the small pieces, I'm going to do something different. So for now, I'm going to leave all of this separated and in this container. And I went ahead and put all of the embellishments that I had, and I'm just going to drop it down in this bottom drawer right on top. And so then again, if I need some twine, some enamel dots, some little something, then I can go straight to this and pull it, and it will be handy. So I'm just going to slide it right on top. So you can tell these drawers hold a lot. Now I also kept the Shots of Life in this drawer for now because for right now I don't have the complete Shots of Life kit so I'm not ready to switch that out. When I am, I will just um, pull it down. So for now, I'm gonna work on the flavors of the month. So the flavors of the month includes four kits. So I have them right here. And I'm just going to put them in according to the way they were packaged up. So they come with cardstock and then the three pattern sheets and then some type of embellishment. Now the embellishment I'm going to pull aside for just a moment. So I'm just going to stack those in there. And you can tell I've already kind of went and sorted and found some photos that I thought I could work with. So I'm going to go ahead and leave those with it that in there. And this one, let's see. Okay, this one came with a sticker, so I think I've already pulled those out. So I have these few embellishments right here. Okay, so I forgot my containers. I'm going to grab my containers. So I just have a small one, and I am just going to go ahead and just put all of these embellishments in here, and I'm probably going to uh, mix all of the collections. So then I'm going to pull the cardstock and paper, oops, and put 
put it in there. And you can see for this one, I've already created a couple of layouts and I just stuck it back in the bag. And so I cut apart some of the sticker sheet playing with it. So I'm gonna stick it in with the embellishments as well. Okay, and this one came with the sticker sheet and then in the add-on kit for the embellishment add-on, it had the alphabet sticker. So I'm just gonna keep that together. And I had said that I was probably going to go ahead and combine all of these in. But this is the add-on kit. So I have the embellishment add-ons, the paper, and the cardstock. And like I said, all of their add-ons go with the four collections from Flavors of the Month. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the embellishment sheets. And then I'm just going to go ahead and put, like this is the Dear Lizzie Saturday collection. I'm going to go ahead and file that in here with the Dear Lizzie paper. For the cardstock that's the add-on, you get three more sheets that complement each one of the four collections. So I'm going to actually keep this separate and I'm going to put it in the add-on drawer down below because usually cardstock is my background or maybe my photo mats or if I want to die cut something with my silhouette or Cricut. So I'm just going to keep that separate and then I'm going to go ahead and store my embellishments down here. So my big sticker sheets I'm going to put right on top and then I have the chipboard and the washi. So I'm going to put it in there as well as this one. And then my small pieces are in this container. So this time, this is all, well, let me go ahead and pull this one out. This one is all my four collections, Flavors of the Month, with patterned paper and the cardstock that came with it. And the second one is going to be my add-on cardstock, all of my embellishments, and sticker sheets. So hopefully when I'm working on a layout, I'll have already pulled my paper out, the ones that I want. And so I can just look through here when I'm ready to embellish the page. So that's my flavor of the month kits. Next up is the double shot kit. And so the double shot has two different collections. And I'm going to do the same thing in the third drawer. I'm just going to put it by collection. This one, again, the embellishments are a 12 by 12 sticker sheet. And this one was just a 6 by 12 with one bag of small embellishments. And you can tell I've already cut into this as well. But it just had a small thing of sequins and things like that. So I have this small container that I'm just going to put those in and set it on top. But they're going to go in that drawer. I'll take them out of the bags, but they're going to go in the drawer just like that. So that's a look at how I've been storing my kits. So hopefully that answered some questions that I've had asked and it gives you some ideas if you're storing uh, monthly kits from the scrap room or some other place or you're making your own homemade kits or just some ideas of how you can um, organize new purchases so that you're more apt to use them and it not just get put in your stash and forgotten about. So I hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you back here soon with another process video. Thanks for watching.